Good morning. The time is currently 9.30 in the morning. Um, I'm never up this early. Uh, when I have a day off of work, I don't know why I'm up this early, but I wanted to play some Assassin's Creed. So yeah, let's go to Jerusalem. Hey, it's my boy Malik. Safety and peace, Malik. Where that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Medjdud Din for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Majdud Din has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. Alright. Um, I like Malik as a character. I'm not gonna lie. I actually do enjoy um, his character being, you know, rightfully angry. I mean, Altair did break the code of the creed, so... Yeah, I'm not even mad that he's kind of an asshole. Here we go. Off to the poor district of Jerusalem. How reckless can one get? <laughs> hey, there's a guy. This guy is ready to kill me. Whoa, shit! Fuck off, little asshole. One of six. That. I liked seeing that. There, there is only six viewpoints in this bitch. I am okay with that. Just got done with my last viewpoint. Uh, within the poor district. And there just happens to be a dude right here. Which means I have to kill some bowmen, which is going to be fun. Damned archers. We are to launch an assault against one of Medjdudin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming, or we will have to begin again. Okay, um, there's three of them again. Where are they at? Okay, we'll start with this guy on the left over here. I fucking hate these people, by the way. Those, uh, those lunatics. Yeah, fuck them. Pieces of shit. Oh. I'm starting to understand why Al-Mualim favors you. I assume you have been sent to deal with Merjudin, yes? Then it might help you to know that he enjoys lecturing his prisoners before executing them. While doing so, he turns his back to the crowd. It would be the perfect moment for you to strike. Now, I must attend to my men. We have our own targets to deal with. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere! But at this... Majdudin understands the words to cast out the wicked among us that we may live righteous lives. There is no harm in naming them, those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith, without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Enough! I still breathe, so you must desire more than just my life. 
What is it? You know Mejduk-Din well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them. Fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative. Addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> I don't remember this guy. I don't remember who this is, to be honest. I am sorry, Ahmad. They came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. Ooh. I won't allow it. But what can we do? Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution. Perform it even. He enjoys the act. Truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. All right, so that, that dude's son is getting executed. That's like hardcore. So yeah, I would, I'd be mad too. But I still don't remember who it is we're trying to kill. I don't remember this. So as you guys are noticing now, there's three left, and it says that we can return to the uh, to the bureau over here in the rich district. But uh, my point is, you actually need three now. So obviously, the more you need more investigations to be able to go back to the bureau to kill the guy, but obviously we're gonna, you know, do all the investigations, so. Uh, here's a hidden blade challenge. You should be fun. Grandmaster. Safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they asked me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujdudin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. Interessante, interessante. How many are there? Still only two, okay. Um, because hidden blade assassinations while being stealthy in the middle of the city is still kind of tough. Yeah, and plus there's guards around who can see you, all that kind of shit. So I gotta wait a little bit here. There's a lot of guards here. Oh my god, so many fucking guards, man. Or you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's go up top here. We should be able to throw a knife at him, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go a little bit higher. Then. That was uh, swagtastic, man. There was no way I was getting that with a hidden blade. There's no the way. Best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, master. I was cleaning the temple steps. I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. All right. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. Yeah, pretty much. Scholars. You a friend of mine? No? So get away from me. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today? It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Were it that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city? Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He, 
who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come, let us return to work. Come on. Slide in the DMs like this, baby. I'll tell you. I meant to meet a contact nearby. The guards <laughs> seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? Oh yeah, the guy they can't fight with a fucking shit. It's alright. How do some of these people call themselves assassins? I mean, I know the assassin part is like... It's just the name of the group. But I mean... It's a pretty bold name to not know how to kill somebody, you know? Dude, one death? You fucking scared? I can't right now. You guys know, you guys know, I would chase after him if I, if distance wasn't an issue, but it is. So I'm really fucking mad about that. Oh shit! More people come to join the party! What's up, fellas? Oh shit, fucked up my, my button thing. Fucked up, fucked up. I love that fucking bone crunching sound, man. That is just so OCD. So good. Found out something else, by the way. Um, those guys that like break your defense, when you, you can you can dodge them now and like, attack them. That way you don't have to just sit there and take a hit, you know? Oh, okay. Well, that was fucked. Ooh, got that bitch on his knees, made him just fucking just, he was a bitch for like the last two seconds of his life. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Good. I should be safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. There you go, homeboy. Require a map detailing his guard. Okay, cool. What news, novice? I am not a novice. Hmm. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent, Meshuddin, is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything. Only suspect. You must expect to be wrong. To have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember this now. It's like this little weird little fortress place. All right, let's. Uh, I remember this now, or at least I remember the location. I still don't remember who we're fighting, but it's all right. Figure that out in just a second. Oh shit! There's the assassin guy up there to the left. Oh, this asshole. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, uh, fuck this guy. I remember this guy. What a piece of shit. Silence! I demand silence! People of Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They saw the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? We do! Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. <laughs> this is not justice. <laughs> and all oh, shit. of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. <laughs> oh shit. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you, but I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon the all. Oh shit. They just spotted me out of nowhere. Hey, I'm okay with this, man. I'm okay with this. Let's get it, family. Oh, <laughs> like Ah, that fucking arm break one kills me every time. Ah, stop doing that. I hate that one. Oh. So that's too now, old man. Us two now. What are you gonna do? Let's go. I'm gonna whip your ass down. Do you have like no health left? Let's go, buddy. Come on, you bitch. Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me. What's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. 
an opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. Ooh, a twofer! This guy's a fucking asshole. He deserves that shit, homeboy. Yeah, I fucking love it. I love it, dude. They're just, uh, they're just tied up there. I'm just gonna leave them, I guess. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard, Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. Now take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? 
Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. Ha! Because we do those in the game. Because, you know, the hay bale. Yeah. <clears throat> um, that was real ballsy of Altair. I actually respect that. I forgot that he did something like that. Now that I know a little bit about what's going on here. Let's see, extra throwing knot. That's it? What happened to the sword? Oh, I guess that was just to, like, prove a point? I don't know. Is there another rank? Okay, so maybe these gauntlet things aren't the ranks. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't care. Um, this game's getting juicy, though. I'm definitely, uh, it's getting like, we're getting there. We're getting to the end, for sure, no doubt.